I don't know if it's helpful. The department did provide a statement. That's the city statement on this matter. Okay. We could, can I yep. hear the statement? I'll, I'll be yeah. happy to read it to you. We were asked by a uh, media outlet okay. and they've uh, not printed it as of yet. And this was as of last week sometime on Thursday or Wednesday, I can't remember. Uh, we appreciate the public's right to free speech and fully support it. While the department would not typically respond to a statement made from public comment at a commission meeting, we feel strongly about responding when those words are misleading, attack the character of an individual, and our purpose with the intent to disrupt an important public process. Officer Richardson has an impeccable service record, excellent character, and has earned his good standing as a valuable member of the Lawrence Police Department and the community police worker. It is disheartening to see that see that reputation grossly misrepresented by a member of the community who is using shock to mislead and attempt to promote division and anger. The Lawrence Police Department proactively in investigated and sustained the former officer's actions, which led to his dismissal. In the video in question, Officer Richardson was discussing a technical portion of his police training, where his expertise is used to recognize evidence of impairment once an officer suspects it exists after an individual has already been arrested. The element that he was discussing was in no way related to the former officer's dismissal. Officer Richardson was not privy to those personnel dis discussions regarding the former officer. And the comments he is being criticized were not related to the actions that led to the former officer's dismissal. This conversation was taken out of context and the individual's comments to the city commission and the public, public were harmful and purposely malicious. 